let's talk briefly about prostate cancer. This is the first study we did with Pau Pereira in, uh, in uh, collaboration with a group at Columbia University Medical Center. And you can see in the title, beta carboline alkaloids enriched extract from the Amazonian rainforest tree, Pau Pereira suppresses prostate cancer cells. In this study, we learned that Pau Pereira works, it kills cancer cells by inducing a process called apoptosis, a normal process for cell death during growth and development that uh, is a very desirable goal of a cancer therapy if it can be used selectively as these extracts can do. So I've also thrown in an example of pancreatic uh, cancer effect with Pau Pereira. And one important thing, and I urge you to look at this paper, you can go on the website, beljanski.org. What's so impressive here is, yes, indeed, Pau Pereira is active against the pancreatic tumor cells. It shrinks the tumors, but it also shows no toxicity, not just low toxicity. There is no evidence of a toxic effect when the tissues uh, of the animal are, or, are, are analyzed histologically. There's, uh, this is an amazing uh, and wonderful result. Well, not only are the extracts broad spectrum in terms of types of cancers, and not giving any consideration to what the organ a source is or the gender of the individual with cancer, uh, they work broadly. They also work at different stages of cancer, early, middle, and late. And uh, the first example is, in fact, a classic case of chronic inflammation. This is uh, something that uh, Dr. Ackman just spoke about, BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia. And you can see Pau Pereira attenuates the BPH in an animal model by reducing 5-alpha reductase, an enzyme that converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, which is more active and aggressive and drives the proliferation of prostate cells, which in, causes enlargement of the prostate. Here is uh, an example of the data from that, which I'm showing because it's so very impressive. Uh, on the left of these figures here, you're looking at prostates from the experimental animals. On the left is a normal prostate, and this is uh, just the normal size of one. Uh, the vehicle control refers to BPH induction. That's a very large prostate you can see, uh, just moving to the right one. Then there's finasteride, BPH, but it's been treated with finasteride, and you can see the dramatic reduction in the size of that prostate. And then finally, on the right side, Paolo Pereira extract is used to treat these uh, BPH animals, and you can see also that the size of the prostate is reduced very much as finasteride does it, okay? In addition, uh, there are uh, evidence for reduced, the, this the PAO treatment reduces the PSA, which is a marker for inflammation and ultimately for cancer in prostate. So, and it, through a combination of effects, reduces the risk of progression to cancer. Uh, it does not change the body weights. There's no sign of toxicity whatsoever. And though I said that Powell works as well as finasteride uh, in reducing the size of the prostate, it does so without any of the negative side effects that are seen with finasteride. One example on this slide, I hope you can see it. On the left is the control. That's normal sperm swimming in a culture. In the middle is finasteride. There's quite a reduction number of sperm. And on the right is Pau. There's a slight reduction there. So Pau Pereira does not significantly reduce the number of sperm, unlike finasteride, which has a dramatic effect on the, on the sperm count of a man who takes that drug. Well, the list goes on and on. Uh, the side effects are quite uh, lengthy and, and, and really more than irritating. And so I want to remind you again, one of the major advantages of these natural plant extracts, which Belchansky developed, is the absence of, not just absence of toxicity, but the absence of any serious side effects. And many men have used both uh, Palpura and Revolvomitoria and a combination of the two uh, to handle this problem. And as you can see from what I've just shown you, uh, this works, these extracts work for BPH. And I count this as a precancer, if you will, uh, many people who have it are at higher risk for progressing to cancer, and this extract is protective there as well. So the prostate is reduced in size, the urination process can happen normally, and the man is less likely to get cancer. 
Well, we've also studied prostate cancer proper. Uh, uh, this was done at Columbia University as it was the first study I brought up. Uh, it, it was successful. Both extracts were tested. Uh, Pao appears to be more potent at inducing apoptosis. Revolfi appears to be more potent at suppressing cell cycle division arrest in the tumor cells. It's, it's great to induce cell death. Another option for cancer therapy is stop the process of cell division, arrest it. Those cells ultimately die also. So prostate is something we've studied a lot, but it's also something which shows the remarkable success that can be had with these extracts. Okay, to finish this context, this argument about the stages, we've gone to BPH, the early precancerous, inflammation, severe chronic inflammation, to normal prostate cancer, if I can call it that, kind of typical prostate cancer, mid-stage, mainstream. And we've also done experiments through collaboration with a group in Nanjing University in China, which show that Pauperer is effective against prostate cancer cells that no longer respond to agents that interfere with hormone action. These are advanced prostate cancers that basically uh, some doctors are forced to throw up their hands and say, I don't know what else we can do. Pau Pereira does act in these cancer cells on a complex called NF-kappa B. It's a control center which regulates survival, proliferation, and invasion. This includes suppression of metastasis, also does kill these cells. Uh, so the results suggest that Pau Pereira will be very helpful for men with advanced hormone-independent prostate cancer. <laughs> 